quantum computing in the future of computing. All governments in the world are racing to build their first quantum computer. Why? What is the reason? You might arise lots of questions. However, your curiosity has brought you to the right video. Hello and welcome to Planet Cave Scheme. And today, you all learn about quantum computing. The current classical computers are reaching their, their limit. So the current transistors are smaller than the size of the red blood cell in your blood. So now let's begin. You will learn all these points in, in today's video. What is quantum computing? Quantum computing is a field of computing that utilizes principles from quantum mechanics to perform computation. Unlike classical computers which use normal physics, quantum computing uses quantum physics. It harnesses it to enable faster and more powerful computation than classical computing. It leverages qubits or quantum bits, which can exist in superposition and entanglement to perform complex calculations and solve specific problems more efficiently. It also holds promise for areas such as drug discovery and simulating complex physical systems. Quantum computing, as I said before, uses qubits that are completely different from normal bits. Reason? Qubits are the building blocks of quantum computers. They represent and process information using quantum properties. Classical bits, there are 0 and 1, but they can be 0 or 1. But in qubit, it can exist in a combination of 0 and 1 simultaneously. For example, take a coin. The head is 0 and the tail is 1. In classical computing, there is a 100% chance of it falling 0 or 1. But in qubits, there's a 50% chance of it falling 0 and 50% chance of it falling 1. Yeah. So, as I told before about superposition and entanglement, you all learn about it now. So, fun fact, IBM Osprey, it has 433 qubits. That's the world record currently. So, superposition in quantum computing refers to the ability of a qubit to exist in multiple states simultaneously. However, it is a common misconception that a qubit can mean both 0 and 1 simultaneously. Rather, a qubit can mean a superposition of 0 and 1. Example, take this Schrodinger's cat experiment. Here, the cat is used to represent a, a hypothetical quantum system. Here, what happens is, the cat is both simultaneously dead and alive. So it's a thought experiment proposed by physicist Erwin Schrodinger. By exporting superposition, Quantum algorithms can process and manipulate multiple property solutions simultaneously, leading to, to the potential for exponential speed up in certain computation tasks. Entanglement Entanglement is a, is a phenomenon in quantum mechanics, where two or more particles become correlated or linked together in such a way that the state of one particle is intimately related to the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. So, for example, keep one qubit on earth and the other in the sun. Entangle them. So if you measure the value of the qubit on earth, you instantly get to know the value of the qubit in the sun. So there is another example, take two magical bracelets. They have a color of red and blue. Keep one in the north pole and the other in the south pole. If you like, you know, see the value or should I say the color of the bracelet in the north pole, you immediately get to know the color of it in the south pole. So, this entanglement enables powerful computational capabilities and secure communication protocols that surpass what is achievable with classical systems. Now, let us learn the differences. Superposition allows a single particle to be in multiple states at once, whereas entanglement means the state of one particle is instantly related to the state of another. Superposition means it's the property of individual quantum systems or particles. Whereas, entanglement involves a relationship between multiple quantum systems. Why do we need them? We need them because they have the potential to solve problems that are computationally intractable for classical computers. It can provide faster solutions for complex optimization problems. And it can revolutionize cryptography and advanced scientific research in various fields, making them a valuable and necessary tool for addressing complex challenges in the future. Advantages Quantum computing. Speed, solving complex problems, and answering across the problem, scientific and technological advances, parallelism, optimization, and simulation. There are many advantages more, but I'll mention the most important one 
cryptography, scientific and technological advances, and speed. Speed, as you know, it's obviously faster. New computer, new technology means obviously it's faster. But what about cryptography and scientific technology advances? Cryptography, it can break certain, you know, encryption methods such as RSA and ECC. And, and you know, if it breaks that, you can still develop new algorithms which are quantum safe. Scientific and technological advances. So it can advance scientific research in fields like material science, drug discovery, etc. 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 However, quantum computing is still in its early stages, so you know we might get more advantages soon. So it can also accelerate the you know certain types of searches by quantum algorithms such as Glover's algorithm, which is designed for searching unsorted databases. Disadvantages. Scalability, scalability, error rates, complexity, limited applicability, access, security concerns, etc. The most important error rates as well as security concerns. As you know, quantum computing is still in its early is, is still in its early stages, and, and hence qubits are prone to errors due to noise and decoders, which lead to incorrect results. That's why error rates are relatively high. However, that's why many you know IBM and Many other computers are developing effective error correction techniques, so they are crucial for the, you know they are crucial. Security concerns, for example, in banking the RSA encryption is used. It's so secure that the classic computer will take millions of years to break it. With a quantum computer, speak nothing. It's, it's, it can break it very soon. It can break in hours or days. So yeah, but. How is this happening with the help of Shor's algorithm, which is you know similar to the working of RSA encryption? Just because you you break classical algorithms, it doesn't mean that you can make quantum safe algorithms in quantum computing. You you can make, and soon you you might have an RSA encryption algorithm in in quantum computing. Yeah. Next, let's conclude this. Quantum computing represents a fascinating and rapidly evolving field that holds great promise for revolutionizing computation and exponential speedups, enhanced data processing, and the ability to solve currently intractable problems. Quantum computing offers exciting opportunities for scientific advancements. This quantum computer here is the IBM OSPI. And yes, I forgot to tell you that normal classical computers need a fan to, to, to cool them down, but quantum computers have to be stored in very cold, you know, very, very cold temperatures. So there comes the disadvantage of fragility as well as scalability. Yeah. So continued research and technological advancements are necessary to overcome these challenges and, you know, fully un unleash the transformative power of this computing. Despite the current limitation, the potential impact of quantum computing on various industries and scientific disciplines makes it an area of intense exploration and excitement for his, for researchers, scientists, and te technology enthusiasts worldwide. Thank you. If you have any doubts, please do mention it in the comment section below. Please do subscribe and like the video if you do like it. I hope we, we do have a quantum computer soon in our homes. Thank you. Please do subscribe.